Welcome to aminacademy.com. In fluid mechanics, let us discuss about surface tension on liquid droplets. Look at this figure. Here, liquid dro droplet is given in spherical shape here. Now, let R equal to radius of that sphere. R equal to radius of a drop. Now, and sigma equal surface tension of a liquid of a liquid and P equal pressure intensity inside the droplet pressure intensity of of inside the droplet inside the droplet that means it's called excess of outside pressure intensity also d equal diameter of droplets or droplet let the droplet suppose the droplet is cut in two half spherical that is a semi spherical shape therefore the sphere the drop the droplet cut into two halves now tensile force due to surface tension you say tensile force due to surface tension acting around the circumference acting around the circumference of the drops of droplet equal surface tension into circumference means which is equal sigma into pi d because circumference of the droplet is pi d now this is the first case now it is balanced by pressure force on the area the pressure force on the area which is equal area pi by 4 d square into P pressure force. Now here question one and two here both are equal. Therefore, you can write pi in, uh, sigma into pi d equal pi by four d square p. So here pi cut both side and we can see by using this relation pressure equal here we let uh, pressure intensity inside the droplet p equal sigma pi d c 
sigma pi d over pi by 4 d square which gives this uh, d cut and square cut pi and cut pi cut it gives 4 sigma by d this is the formula for pressure intensity of a droplet of the liquid now next surface tension on a halo bubble suppose consider halo bubble a halo bubble like a soap bubble in air has two surfaces in contact with air one inside and the other outside thus two surfaces are subjected to surface tension here soap bubble is given here therefore you can say surface tension inside surface tension inside equal surface tension outside therefore surface tension inside is p into pi by 4 d square on the outer is two times sigma into pi d. So from this we can get p equal two two sigma pi d to sigma pi d over pi by 4 pi by 4 d square <coughs> d squared now d and d square cut here pi pi cut <coughs> it gives 8 sigma by d Here, next, here, so we'll uh, discuss about surface tension on a liquid jet. Consider the liquid jet of diameter D and length L diameter D. Now, pressure that P equal pressure intensity inside the liquid inside the liquid liquid jet above the outside pressure liquid jet above the liquid above the outside pressure above the outside pressure therefore we can say pressure force due to pressure force due to pressure equal pressure intensity into area area of the semi jet area of semi jet which is equal p into l into d length of the jet is <coughs> l. length of the jet is l diameter is d so it's a rectangle area so p into l into d now now force due to surface tension force due to 
surface tension force due to surface tension equal to sigma into tau L. Here length of jet is L, this side also L. So it is 2L, so sigma into 2L. So both equating PLD equal 2L sigma. Therefore, we can see P equal 2 into L sigma by LD, L and L cut. Therefore, pressure intensity is 2 sigma by D. So, we have done. Please subscribe our YouTube channel.